persons deprived of liberty mula sa iba't ibang piitan ang pinalaya ng Bureau of Corrections. Ito na unito sa 65th birthday ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos ngayong araw. Bukod sa mga naakwit ng Korte Suprema at nabigyan ng parole at probation. Pinakamarami ang napalaya dahil sa Good Conduct Time Allowance o yung pagbabawa sa tagal ng pagkakakulong ng isang preso base sa kanyang mabuting asal. Sa mga PDL na natin na kababayan na nakapag-serve na rin ng sentence, sana wag na tayong magkita pang muli. <laughs> Yun lang ang isa sabihin nyo sa isip nyo, ayoko nang bumalik sa Bucor. ba? Diba? Kasi ito yung tinatawag na libingan ng mga buhay. Happy birthday, Sir BBM. At uh, sana po ay pirmahan mo na para masaya na rin yan, 350 na yan na idinulog namin sa iyo, dinulog ng DOJ. Pinatasan ng Department of Justice ang Public Attorney's Office. Natutukan ang sitwasyon ng mga PDL na kwalipikado ng lumaya. Siguraduhin na hindi lang sa BJMP kundi sa Bucor na walang maiiwang taong nag, nagsisilbi na sentensya na hindi na nararapat. Dapat kung bayad na ang utang ay tapos na ang usapan at malaya na ang isang detinado. Sa taong ito, nasa pagitan ng 2,000 at 3,000 person deprived of liberty ang target mapalaya ng Department of Justice at Public Attorney's Office. Starting in January, a new law will go into effect in Illinois called the Safety Act. Part of it eliminates cash bail for most offenses. Today, the Winnebago County State's Attorney says around 400 inmates at the county jail will be released. Under the new law, people arrested for many criminal cases, including battery, robbery, and vehicular homicide, cannot be detained no matter the severity of the crime. Unless there is evidence, they're a flight risk, and a judge can only detain someone for murder and armed robbery if there is a real and present threat to the safety of the community. Jay Hanley and other state's attorneys around Illinois are asking to tweak the law and allow judges to use their discretion in all cases. The Safety Act passed in 2021, and many Republicans have been trying to make changes to it, including Darren Bailey. Bailey continues to promise a repeal of the Safety Act if he's elected governor. It's a move that would be unlikely, even if he won, since it would require the House and Senate to flip and Democrats hold supermajorities in both chambers. The bill's sponsors are saying the conversation around the Safety Act is not happening in good faith. We'll repeal the Safety Act and we will reinstate cash bail everywhere, all across the state. We will repeal limits. We will repeal limits on pretrial detention for violent criminals. The bill was supported by the Illinois Legislative Black Caucus. It said this makes the justice system more fair for minorities. As of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Oil Park, Cook County, and Illinois. ...and violence that they keep up inside them. It is a night that is defining our country. Citizens, this will be a tradition we celebrate every year. 
join the first purge. People are now calling this controversial experiment of legalized crime the purge. Is the purge a political device? It is a psychological one. If we want to save our country, we must release all our anger in one night. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. There's a lot of... Your government thanks you for your participation. You're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens. This country needs for this to work. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again. And because of the increase in lawlessness, the love of many shall become cold. Matitiao 24 verse 12. But he who shall have endured to the end shall be saved. Verse 13. May Yahuwah bless you and keep you. Shabbat Shalom.